Welcome to our Automation Tester Scenario Talks. Today we will talk about the Playwright Core Concept Part 1. We will introduce Playwright Test Runner Architecture. Difference between browser, context, and the page. Locate strategies. Playwright Test Runner Overview. Playwright come with a Playwright Test Package. Handles Parallel Test Execution. Fixture Browser Context Page. Multiple browsers from a single config. Rich Reports List dot html json test structure first in a test we need to define a test description block test dot description group related test together and like group login out function before each set up before the each test like launch web browser test individual test case like test validate login test function expected this is a assertion function example check url container dashboard check the page contain the text after each clean up, log out. Browser context page model. From a level, top level is the browser. Browser engine. Playwright have the three web engine: Chrome, Mail, Firefox, WebKit. For example. Wait, Chrome Mail dot launch. Context, encode in later next session. Wait, browser dot net new context. Page, the table with the context. Wait, context dot new page. Now, the strategies. Playwright use the method list here. One is used by row. On the web page, find the button. This is by row, and the name is login. By text, on the page, find the by text sign in text. By the text, get this one. And the CSS. Right click web elements and inspect, and you can copy get the CSS value. So, page dot locate this is a CSS value by express. Right click web elements, inspect, and get the express value. Page dot locate this is a express value. Chained. On the web page, if you have the nested web elements, for the top one is the form. So you use the page dot locate, find the top one in the form. In the form, locate, import. For the web elements, if you have many re repeat web elements you can use the index like a page dot locate button if button will have a serious button use the same name id but the index is a different so this is the index one you can find another index two or three something
you will install Visual Studio Code and also install extension for Playwright. On the Visual Studio Code, you can run a test user commands or use UI. Playwright.config.js file. In this file, Playwright defines some of the future here, like a defined log timeout. This is a defined timeout, 30 seconds. Expection timeout, 5 seconds. And retry one time. Trace on, sequential only on failure. Video return on failure. Okay, I will go ahead to start coding. First, you need to download install Visual Studio Code, like this code, Visual Studio Code. Then, you go to the extension and uh, search for Playwright. You, you install extension like the Playwright Tester for Visual Studio Code or the uh, Playwright Tester Runner. So I did, so I not do it. And uh, for here, like uh, we go to the first, uh, go to the playwright config.js file. This file is a define your test future. So here is, you see here, test driver is uh, un under the test. Yeah, test in under tests. And here is a timeout, uh, as show you before, and here Define a test 30 seconds and this expect 5 seconds. Here is retry and uh, you see here is the report. I choose the HTML report and uh, here you can see here is a uh, like viewport port and uh, define the words and the head and uh, here is uh, like a video and uh, screenshot and here is the project uh, we use a th three of the uh, web browser you see here is a defined and uh, also is a re result after run results in into this folder so here is a, a config file we this defined and uh, then I go to the test and uh, I can add a new file. I add one new file called locator.spec.js. And this is I defined. Then, first line, I import, import the test expectation, expect from the playwright test. Here is the test. Another one I will. Uh, Detail tell about expect, yeah. And here we have uh, like we we introduce we have the three section in the test script. Here is a test description is a, like this crab is a, a block include a, like a test before each test before each we. I defined uh, like the go to the page. This uh, I will test the web elements page, and then the test. I have many of the test here. You see here is a test. Then after test we have test after each. After each just uh, for me is just uh, close the web browser. Yeah, that is. Uh, I defined uh, like follow the before the instruction and uh, define the text script. Here we go to here we say 
generally for the playwright, we use a wait. That is, wait a page, wait a text upload. So is a wait the page come up, and then go to this. This is a go to the URL. This is a web address. So is a go to the web elements. Then I do for the test first test. I test the web elements button by name. So this is a general format for the test. A synchronize with with the page. Then a wait page and get by row. This is row is the button. Name is the button four. So for this one is click the button four. For this one is a test link. Web element link. So with the link come up, this link name is home in my uh, web page. So click the home page link. Uh, another test is a test text box. This use the CSS. So right click uh, the uh, text box and the inspection and the copy the CSS. So here is a, a wait page. This is a different use a locate. Use a locate. Here is a CSS value. So put the value in it. Uh, and then is a, in the text box and the test field testing the text box, the text. And here is for this one. And another one is for the text area. For the text area, is uh, use uh, text area four. So is uh, locate text area four and also put the text area. And another test is a check box, and uh, check the check box one and the click is a check. Yeah, you can see the web page here. So general in this web page, we have the button. And here, if you want, like uh, here is, uh, I want to find the web elements, something. So right click, inspect. Inspect, you, you can see here is uh, like ID is this one. If you want to copy something, else so you can copy the uh, select this is a css value and also you can copy the xpass we use for this one is xpass so got all of the information from the web page and then here i finish the test so i say i i install the Playwright extension, so I can uh, run the test uh, two way. One is use the terminal. You see here, open a new terminal, put the command to run the test. Uh, today I just show you like uh, use the right click run the this test. So I right click this one, and you see here is a test. Here is a test, so I can click the test run. Okay, you see all the tests pass. So uh, also here we have the test results. Result here, yeah, you can check the result here and. Uh, also have the some like uh, when a test field have the recording the uh, like the screenshot and the video. Let me run one of the field test. This one is a, it should fail, so I save and then I run again.
so is a uh, take time yeah because uh, for the testing is uh, cannot find that web element she try many times and wait uh, not try many times the wait come up and uh, check okay so you you can see here when we defined uh, like the 30 uh, second 30 second timeout uh, cannot find this web elements so here is an not find this this one is an locator is a run so web browser is closed and then you can check your uh, playwright report here so you can see here is uh, we have many of the report here and also you can check the uh, like the video or something yeah you see here is a video but uh, from here uh, because I not uh, uh, install extender for the uh, video from the Visual Studio code, so you you need to go to your uh, like the folder and uh, click, then use your uh, your computer run this one. Yeah, because of my Visual Studio not install the video show. So this is today's topic. Uh, thank you for watching the video. In the video, I introduce a play, write a test package, browser context page, locate. If you want to follow up our updates, please subscribe. See you next time.